from San Ramon to San Jose and there's a stop like right by the airport which is beautiful so I'm gonna go check in for my flight and I'll see you guys when I'm in for a Starbucks coffee wherever I go to the airport is literally my like routine So I just finished buying my ticket from the like central office in Cusco to buy official yeah, tickets and basically my ticket cost me um, like less than $25. So online if I had bought it ahead of time it would have cost me like $50 but I'm really happy that it was cheap and now I'm gonna go sit down, watch my novella, Wait for my Peru Pop bus to arrive so I can get going. So I made it to the Pariwana Hostel and now I'm having my first little batch of cocoa. Cocoa tea. Okay, so it's day two. I'm pretty much just gonna be on the Peru Hot bus for like most of the day. I slept overnight on the bus. So from Saturday to Sunday. And then I have free housing because I blogged. Um, for one of the hostels um, so I have free housing from Sunday to Monday and then from Monday to Tuesday I'm gonna be on the bus sleeping again so yeah I'm gonna visit I'm gonna get to the desert oasis like tonight at the evening so I'll get like a really cute evening shot at the city so I'm excited for that um, and yeah I kind of just slept in Cusco and like drank cocoa tea I didn't really have any issues with altitude sickness so I think I'm gonna try to see both the lake and rainbow mountain next week but we shall see when I get back what's possible for me to do um but yeah that's pretty much my plan updates okay so let's hope for a bit more con and reality um much left on the bus hey guys i made it to the wild rover hostel um staying here for one night i was able to get free housing a lot of hostels in peru actually have like this well not a lot but like two wild rover and periwana have like a deal if you blog for them you'll get like a free night of stay um but for my peru hop for my little trip like hopping from city to city I was able to get free housing here and then for Parwana I blogged for them so I'll get free housing on like Wednesday night um, before my little Machu Picchu trip but yeah um, it's also the first night that this hostel opened so there's like a lot of promotions going on so that's pretty cool um, I went down to the bar met some people but I'm like really tired um, so I'm gonna go to bed soon I'm also wearing a sweater because it's like literally freezing here in Peru it was much colder than I was expecting but I knew it was gonna be cold but I wasn't expecting it to be this cold um, we're in the desert so it's not as cold as it was in Cusco but it is fucking cold Oop, excuse my language but yeah so I'm gonna do a little room tour of like where I'm staying and then I'll probably like insert footage from like the outside of the hostel so yeah see you guys Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like six beds, and then we have like a charger inside, and it has a little curtain. Oh, and we also have our own, so we have our lockers and locker six. We have our own lockers, and then a bathroom in the hostel, so it's really nice. Can you see if I say, hey guys? Um, but yeah, no, I'm actually, this is the first night that it's open, so I got to stay for free. Um, I definitely will be writing a good review because it's relatively new and it just they all look really posh it's just that water rovers have a reputation for being like really about the party life and the bar is down there with like the pool and the lights went off I don't know why but they were on earlier so yeah I'm gonna get ready and go socialize at the bar and then maybe get an outside view of the hostel okay so this is the hostel from the outside they have a bunch of like green like, cactus plants. Sorry, my video footage is so shaky. So I just got back on the Peru Hop. We're doing a tour of this vineyard. So yeah, we're in Guatemala. Um, 
there's like a cute little sign that I think I'm gonna take a picture at later on. But yeah, I'm pretty tired. Like I said last night, the hostel was pretty wild, so I didn't end up going to sleep. And I'm a deep sleeper, like I can fall asleep through anything, but like it was definitely like the loudest that I've ever like been in. Um, but yeah, I didn't go to sleep until like 3 a.m. So I got like six, oh I guess seven hours of sleep. So I'm not like um, under rest or anything, but yeah, I'm just pretty much tired. So I'm gonna listen to some music, get ready for this tour, and then I'll see you guys at the video. Maybe you want to take a seat over here if you want to do it. In the Puntaya, we are going to make the filtration of the way. In that part, we are going to see the way this part is. To avoid that, to avoid it, we are going to use like a string, a big string. Yeah. We are going to get there, like that. We are going to get there, and that's it. And we are going to let it dry, and we are going to use them like a fertilizing and for a fertilizer. Yeah, so going to back, so I'm going to start the video. Yeah, so going back, so I'm going to start the video.